The purpose of this meeting, led by the Department of Communication, is to say, on our own, it's not going to happen. But together with business and various other stakeholders, labor and everybody else, it's going to work. If you go to Memphis, one of the most successful aerotropolis, where they, did, they produced one million jobs over 10 years, contributing at a time when we were there 28 billion US dollars to the economy of America. Business people are at the center of the aerotropolis. I think Mr. Kaifa Chauk has already said it. Business, the government creates an environment that ensures that the business of the business becomes successful. Now, when you come to Ekuruleni as a state, we know that we are a small institution amongst many big institutions in the city. So then the question we keep every day trying to familiarize ourselves with, what is our key role in the city of Ekurule as government? And we have come to agree that we must do our best as government so that the broader Egoruleni can do the rest. Because the biggest challenge we have as government is to sustain an environment of certainty. Is to sustain an environment of predictability. Is to sustain an environment where anticipations are not futile. An environment where, an environment of that kind, people are able to release their energy. Because once you're not predictable, people lock their energy. When you hear, they say the economy is collapsing and whatever in Europe, it's not the absence of money. But those who hold their past are not sure of what is happening around themselves. Once there's certainty in this city, I know there are poor victims here whose purses are going to be all over the place. They are sitting here. All what they want is certainty. All what they want is predictability. I know, I know, you just trap them in that certainty. They are gone with you. So the point I'm making, we are committing to activities that ensure certainty. This breakfast is about intensifying that certainty and predictability. We'll continue to annoy you in some areas, but if we continue to meet, that's the only way we're going to hear about your anger. That's the only way we'll continue to correct all those issues that actually make us to actually irritate you. People are actually losing the funders because the city is unpredictable. The city is known that it's actually going to take a long time and we are changing that situation. That's the first instance that we think we should actually be able to do. The second one, those that are already in existence and running their business in the city, they should be having the kind of services such as your electricity. We are improving on our electricity network so that you don't have these interruptions that are going to affect your businesses negatively if you lose an hour of no production because of the electricity of a city that is unpredictable. It's actually not only costing your company, but it's co costing the very community that we are claiming to be representing and want to build those relationships uh, with our business community. And the last one is that this is the beginning of a forum, a platform that on quarterly basis, we should actually constantly be in touch, not only to communicate to business, but to also listen to them. What are these issues that they think they should address with the city, which together we can actually, because we are co-running the city. The fact that we are politically uh, running the city because of the processes of election, it does not necessarily give you the right to absolutely claim that you have an authority over the people who are also important players uh, in the city.